Hi everyone, I'm just doing a quick video today. Um, I've been a bit snack. I said that I was going to be doing it every um, <coughs> Monday and Friday and I just haven't had the energy or the time to film any new footage. So I thought I would just do a quick video on the iPhone and um, it's a really nice day actually. It's beautiful. We've actually had the rain stop for a second. And the last couple of days have been really sunny. But of course now my fellow countryman in the village has decided that he is going to have a bonfire. Which absolutely stinks. And it's one of my pet peeves. And I've had to close all the windows. I thought, oh spring, quick, quick, open all the windows. And uh, he's decided he's going to have a bonfire. So I've had to close all the windows. Anyway, I'm going to talk very briefly about hyperparathyroidism. What it is and everything else. I've been suffering for quite a long time and this week has been an absolute, it's been really difficult, I'm really tired, I'm really burnt out, I've not been sleeping at all. Um, I think basically hyperparathyroidism I've had for quite a few years and I get the worst leg cramps and I think that is associated with hyperparathyroidism. And um, we'll say I went to see the doctor last week and he said that basically my vitamin D is so low he's surprised I'm not exhausted and I am absolutely exhausted. Vitamin D is obviously found in sunlight which we don't get enough of and also in fish and egg yolks and I absolutely hate both of those things, I can't stand them. So... I'm also naturally very fair skinned and I don't go out in the sun but having said that when I do go out I always feel a bit better and my leg cramps weren't as bad yesterday as they have been and I wonder if that's due to the sun and vitamin D. Anyway hyperparathyroidism is basically you have thyroid and then you have parathyroids in your neck and you have four, you have two on each side and it's all linked to you can have all sorts of side effects but basically one of my parathyroids doesn't work properly and hasn't been for a long time and they've been taking lots and lots of blood tests which has been fun and they've basically found that I've got too much calcium in my blood and that is basically the problem so I have to have my parathyroid gland out which I'm really really not looking forward to it's only a little one, it's only going to be a little scar. He said it could be really complex and it could be really simple. It depends where the parathyroid is and how easy it is to get out. I have to have day surgery and to add to the anxiety, I have to go over the water to another hospital, not the local hospital. So that's obviously on my mind and I'm worried about Molly and Aaron as well. And... I'm just, I know I've got to have it out and I've had it for a long time and the side effects you get are things like brain fog, fatigue, your low mood, just, and to be honest with you today I'm just feeling utterly rubbish and Aaron was due to go to work this morning and I said to him, I just can't function. So he's gone in a bit later but I feel absolutely exhausted, I would, I would just, I just want six hours solid sleep, that's all I want, because I can't function. I'm not one of those people that can go without sleep for ages and, and not function. And um, Molly and Aaron are fine, they, they sleep really well, but I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted and it's it's getting debilitating and I can't do everyday activities and it's not laziness, I'm the opposite, I like to keep busy, but everything's a struggle I just want to sleep it's a lovely day and I'm thinking I could go out in the garden and do some weeding while Moles is having her nap but I just haven't got the energy I'm absolutely burnt out I just pray that at some point I will get six hours sleep the only thing that will ease my leg cramps which I think is is linked to the hyperparathyroidism and the lack of vitamin D is a hot water bottle but the problem with that is obviously it goes cold so I have to get I wake up in the night I have to make another one then I wake up again I have to make another one and so it goes on and it's just I'm just finding it really hard today and 
it's doubly hard as well when you haven't got the support and I don't like relying on my partner but when you haven't got your parents around and you've got a little one and you're feeling rubbish it's really really hard and you don't like to ask for help because you don't want to be a burden on people anyways I have put on a little bit of makeup today mm, probably can't see it on a lighter note that's the balm palette I'll link that below if I try and remember but the other thing as well is I'm feeling a bit disheartened with the channel I haven't got many subs so I thought well I felt kind of guilty that I hadn't uploaded today but then I thought well I've only got a small amount of subscribers and thank you to those people that do subscribe and it's a lot of energy it's a lot of effort and I'm struggling right now and <laughs> I'm struggling but I'm adding stuff to my everything I have to do I wanted to also mention that I'm doing a mental health mates walk soon on the island but I'll be doing another video about that later so do subscribe I'd like to know if any of you have heard of hyperparathyroidism or whether you're kind of not feeling quite right I would also say if you're not feeling right and you haven't done for ages do go to doctor maybe get a blood test you could be fine but you don't know the only reason I found out about the hyperparathyroidism is because I had a blood test as always if you can subscribe as I said like comment please forgive me if I'm repeating myself I'm so tired I can barely string two words together have a great weekend and hopefully I will have a video hopefully up on Monday because I want to do uh, see I can't speak I want to try and keep consistent and thank you for watching